and good morning all the friends especially the students behind and uh, the students uh, who have uh, assembled at uh, various conference halls then the principals of various nagarjuna educational institutions and then the uh, uh, eminent people on the stage i have deliberately reversed my order of uh, addressing because it is the students who make the institutions especially the educational institutions are there because of the students you are the customers of this institute if you want to see in corporate way <laughs> so i thought of starting with something but the events here have become so fast and i have seen so many new things so i have lost track with where to start okay <laughs> however i will stick to my original this that is whenever i go to an academic institution i am happy for two things one is uh, during our childhood uh, subhadra kumari chauhan's one poem is there bar bar yaad aati hai mujhko madhura yaad bachpan teri gaya le gaya tu jeevan ki sabse mast khushi meri i am sure everybody understands hindi but this is about uh, recollecting the childhood happiness which once we come out of childhood all that happiness is lost but of course you are not that childish also but you are in the somewhere in the middle stage and from here your careers are going to take off so it's a beautiful stage of your life please enjoy it to the fullest and the second reason why i will be happy is whenever i come to an educational institution i am addressed as dr prakash rao which i am not okay <laughs> so i am happy for anyway without degree i got a doctorate without working for it thank you for that and i also would like to thank uh, nagarjuna institutions because when i joined isro we used to my cubicles and all wherever our big office is there was opposite to vasagam sir's uh, cabin which was a big uh, single room so every day we used to see that board uh, rm vasagam and uh, like sir has mentioned he is a walking encyclopedia so uh, even from that time the reputation was whenever vasagam sir is not in cabin he will be in library so i am telling this to all the students for your inspiration because you have to read you have to expand your knowledge only then this one so it was our dream to even look at him once in a while like that so towards end it so happened that before i moved to headquarters i was sitting in the same cabin sir <laughs> okay and uh, nagarjuna institutions gave me the opportunity to share the seat along with the sir on such a prestigious uh, uh, auditorium okay. so thank you sir and thank you this one so now moving on to the topic many people ask me about the student satellite what is the payload what is the purpose of this uh, satellites so it's not that uh, the moment we are launching a student satellite from tomorrow india or the whole world is getting some new application that is not the purpose of student satellite at this stage here the purpose is to create interest in the students that is the basic thing because this is the stage where young minds are there you focus their attention instead of okay there are very i am not saying science and technology is the only field there are several fields a child can choose the field of its choice depending on what is their aptitude but having joined an engineering college i am sure the students whoever have come to this prestigious institution they are all having an inclination to do something new or something technological contributions that is the intent with which you were you have joined that's what i address okay so our time it used to be our parents used to join but nowadays anyway i am sure the children have the choice and i was dealing with a madam also right from preschool she has been telling there is a choice so the, so there is a, so much of awareness is there nowadays so the objective of such programs is to to divert your attention or to draw your attention to the fact that there are so many technologies it's not that just by participating in this progress uh, this program you have to become a space scientist or anything but it will definitely make you think differently what it will teach you is uh, any project is a teamwork so how to work along with other team members and i know when they have done and all nikhil and all their team they knew how to interact with uh, even some 10 15 years back itself nmit and uh, ms ramaya i think they have come out with a student program that time i know right from procurement the students have done themselves themselves and then i interacted with the unity sat team i was amazed the reviews the maturity with which these engineering college students were answering the questions it was really amazing it was as though they have worked for uh, 20 years in isro that kind of maturity was there in these students so it is 
you are an institution, you should be very, very thankful to your management here because they have given you an opportunity like that. I am sure it will not be just like that. They have to make some financial commitment also. So your institution has made that commitment, giving you an opportunity. So it is up to you, student community, how you make the best use of this opportunity. Men, people can take you up to certain point. Your management has done what they have they can do. So they have brought you to your four steps, footstep, your uh, doorsteps. So you are having the satellite model here, so many rocket models here. With this, your thought process has to get ignited and you can contribute in any field of your choice. I, and if it is space, I am very happy being from space background. At the same time, there are so many other technological fields where you can contribute as long as and uh, innovation talking about, today I saw planting, uh, 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 pouring the water for the plant. This is also an innovation. Nominally, it is always done it with that. So I thought that they, I am in a right place where there is a so people at uh, this senior level, they are able to innovate. When uh, so much, such a senior people are able to innovate, for youngsters, it should be just like a cakewalk. Okay? So it's all in your hands. So it is up to you to innovate. Please take the cue from your elders and continue the whatever path of innovation they have shown. So innovation need not be every time it has to be big. But when you start and once you put your mind into it and continuously work, who knows, there may be one Elon Musk coming from today's audience. Who knows? No one can, uh, you know, Elon Musk when he was, he has gone through such a tough uh, childhood. But he could do so much uh, because he went through a very tough childhood. He could uh, survive all the odds and become the number one. Okay. So I am sure this, so and uh, whatever uh, few, about the 75 satellite mission, Really, it's a great initiative by ITCA and the Honorable Prime Minister himself has announced it in the United Nations and also in the Independence Day speech. So the ITCA has taken the lead and they have formulated this idea. Initially, I also thought what it is going to. But after seeing the type of momentum that it has created, every day I will be getting at least every once in a week at least, I will get a phone call from some engineering institute or the other saying that sir we heard about this we want to participate in this program and my job is very simple i will give them professor gopal krishna's phone number that's all i will not be doing anything more than that but what i am saying is across the country north to the south east to the west this initiative has created tremendous enthusiasm and engineering institutions also unlike earlier where they were counting every of their pie so now they are ready to invest in initiatives of this kind which is going to create an excellent atmosphere in the country uh, where the learning is the key. So it's not about what we get in return, it is to enable the students to learn. With this objective of uh, ITCA, I am sure it, uh, sir, your initiative will be growing much, much uh, higher. I am really happy to be here because already we have been late, but I just uh, one must we request the students to make the best use of you have got a wonderful campus throughout the, from the time we entered your gate to the time we have entered up to the conference room we were awed by awed by your beautiful surroundings the kind of campus you have got enjoy the campus at the same time make the best use of it so this is the opportunity you have got so please put your best brains and uh, the projects like this will definitely improve your soft skills which otherwise you may not may or may not be having an opportunity to improve so because once you make a satellite you have to make a presentation about this somewhere so that improves your uh, communication skills both written as well as uh, spoken communication skills it will improve some questions will be answered when you are doing asked when you are doing this so that will raise your how to respond to a particular situation some problem will come while realizing so how to solve this problem? That will improve your problem solving, solving skills. So these are all not taught just by actually uh, Infosys founder Narayan Murthy. He was mentioning that our engineering students in India are lacking the skills to get employed like that. So projects like this will definitely fill that gap. And I am sure we are on the, at some time later, definitely this gap will be filled. And now already I see, having seen at least so many students I have interacted with, even one more Space Kids team is there. Having seen so many students, I am sure there is at least many bright students who are having all the skills to grow up themselves. And the innovation culture, 
and the government's uh, thrust to give in to startups, all of them will place you in very good state if you take up the grab the opportunity with both your hands and wishing you all the best and I once again thank the management of Nagarjuna Institute.